Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA podcast. I'm your host, Sky. We got your host, Jace. We got your host, CJ, back in the building. We are back, and you know what it is. It is pay-per-view week. The best, I mean, these got to be the best weeks. Like, fight nights are cool, and we love them because sometimes the fight night is a banger. But, like, when it's a pay-per-view like this, this kind of pay-per-view, oh, it's different. Like, how y'all feeling? I'm feeling live. Sunset Park, what time is it? It's time to get live. It's time to represent. Yeah, like, I think what you're alluding to, Sky, is, like, the thing about the the fucking, uh, the fight nights is, like, you know, they'd be good fights, you know, but the pay-per-views be having that anticipation, right, where we've just been waiting all this time for it. So, Izzy get knocked out again against Pereira? Like, let's run it. Yo, we got the ops in here today, CJ. <laughs> we got the ops. Yo, listen, uh, Jace cannot help but like contradict. Like, even if true to his heart, he wanted Izzy to win, he would come on here and go against all of us. <laughs> like, just just to do it, just to piss us off. Like, it's getting out of control. And I didn't already tell CJ for next week. I'm gonna have my <laughs> finger on the button to kick you out on a max car. Like, I'm not playing. <laughs> Headshot, bang. Headshot, John Edwards, bang. get him out of here. Oh, <laughs> what? Man. Pass what? it to me because I'll be, hey, I'll be quick to get his ass out of here. You got to go. <laughs> man. Hey, you know the dude on, uh, what's it called? Um, Apollo used to come out with the little broom. Hey. Damn. <laughs> no, no, uh, no freedom of speech here. Got it. You know, the thing is that you can. It's a and, dictatorship. But you, but you it's a be, dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you got to be respectful. That's the difference. Like you, you cannot like, you can want somebody else to win, but Hey, like, I don't know if y'all ever been on CJ's lives on TikTok, but definitely check out MMA casual 619 on TikTok. The way that he regulate and runs his lives Listen, y'all gonna be respectful. Like y'all can have a different opinion, but you're gonna be respectful. So you can come on the pod next week and and you can talk about how you feel and who you think's gonna win, but you're gonna do it respectfully. <laughs> you gonna do it respectfully. <laughs> you ain't got no choice, my good sir. Ah. Mm, okay, all right, okay, all right. <laughs> we'll see now, what happens. Listen, not when it comes to Max, okay? Mm-mm. Uh, but this week is not about that. We are strictly on UFC 287. Before we get there, uh, how was your um, uh, CJ? I know you went to Bellator. How was that live? I actually had a real, real, real good time. The card was good. I, I was super iffy all the way up to buying the damn tickets. I waited last minute. Some tickets came alive. I bought them. Me and my girl ended up going. Shout out to MMA Momo 619. Um, we had a real good time. The people that we were around were hella fun. The, the Shout out to the black guy that was in front of me. He had hella knowledge. I met some cool ass people. Uh, I seen Ryan Bader. I didn't say what's up to him. And I seen Lorenz Larkin. But the car was amazing. Maybe two or three fights were kind of iffy. But there was mass submission. The main event, there was a knockout. So I had a great ass time. Well, like we were saying a couple pods ago, go to some of these smaller events. It was probably maybe like 3,000 people in there, if that. Um, and it was live. It was rocking. I had a great time in there. So shout out to Bellator for putting on a good show. 100%. Nice. You got to go to live stuff. I mean, you've never seen porn unless you've seen it live. I mean, you've never seen MMA unless you've seen it live. Shout out to Amsterdam. Shout, and shout out to Sean wow, Strickland. Shout out to LaShawn Strickland. And to Thailand. <laughs> um, Lady yeah. boy master over here. Right. Uh, one thing I did want to point out, because this weekend uh, UFC wasn't, wasn't live, right? So I posted a poll on my YouTube, and this one got uh, 2.5K uh, responses, right? And I said, which one are you watching this weekend? PFL, uh, Game Brand Boxing, Bellator, or, or old UFC fights? 44% said they were going to watch Game Brand's boxing. 41% said the <laughs> UFC fights. 6% said PFL and 8% said Bellator. And there's some comments in here. This one guy's like, yo, you know, uh, PFL's card this weekend is really good, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, this is a great testament to how the marketing of Bellator and PFL have to figure out what the disconnect is that people would rather go and watch old UFC fights or watch old UFC fighters box 
then watch their products. That's, I don't know what the answer is to that, but like I found that really revealing because I thought that people would, would watch PFL because it had, you know, names that they recognize that a lot of uh, fighters on that main card were from that used to be inside the UFC. Um, and so like, what do you guys just real quick? Like, what do you guys think about that? Like people like would prefer to watch old UFC fighters box or watch old UFC fights. I, I think it's like the UFC is the Apple. It's the Starbucks of products. It's the McDonald's. It's very easy to digest. People know the names in there, so they don't want to really venture out. And I, I talk to people who are like MMA fans, and I say, "Hey, man, go watch One FC. Go watch this. Go watch that." And they're like, "Man, it's too much. It's too many people to follow. It's too many things to understand. It's too many different things. I don't. I don't want to do that." Mm. And it's like, you know, case in point, me and Mo, we we try to watch as much as possible. Motherfuckers is fighting, and getting beat up. We're gonna watch it. I, and in that case in point, I'll be a casual where I like, I don't know all these people. But I like violence, and I like seeing people fight, and so I'll I'll tune in, I'll watch one, and I'll watch little Muay Thai girls that is eighteen years old just fighting because they put down a, a show, and that's all I want to see. Relax, <laughs> but also also that that Saturday sky, and I text you. I was I ended up watching WrestleMania, and I haven't watched wrestling in twenty something years, and you're like, it? why is it empty in Game Red? Because I said it was. 80,000 people in that stadium two nights in a row. So shout out to them putting on a damn event event. That's crazy. And I can see why um, so many people weren't watching other things because everybody was watching mm. wrestling. <laughs> and Shout out to Roman Reigns, the buzz line. One thing to really that that this really echoes to me. You know, of course, we heard the news that WWE and UFC are now owned by the same company, Endeavor, <clears throat> and Endeavor is now taking them, putting them together and forming their own company with the ticker symbol, T ticker symbol TKO. Um, so now they're under the same parent, you know, and they're in the same company. But one thing to say, like <clears throat> you said, and, and when we look at those numbers, one thing that we're not going to get into it, we're not going to get too deep into the fighter pay because that's not what today is about. But the the UFC is was originally bought by Endeavor for four point two billion. They're now evaluated at twelve point something One. billion. So they've tripled in their evaluation, right? Mm -hmm. And WWE is actually valued less at nine point three billion. So that was really telling because I know before in the past, Jason and I have went back and forth. We've talked about WWE and you know their numbers and blah 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 blah. And like I said, like the UFC is bigger and better. But what this really like started to say to me was that people love storylines and the UFC is the best at telling stories. Bellator is not telling enough stories. Uh, PFL is not telling enough stories. There's not enough. Like people like said like, oh, let's just make it about fighting. And this is about the spirit of mixed martial arts. That sounds good. That's You guys are just saying that. But the reality is, is that people pay and see what 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 people are spending their money on and their time on is what actually matters. And the fact that the WWE is constantly packing out like the UFC doesn't even try to compete with them on uh, consistently every year on WrestleMania night. Like hundreds and thousands of people are watching that. Hundreds of thousands of people are going there to to be there. And you have Bellator putting on events, PFL putting on events, couldn't even sell out uh March 11th, um, it was the same arena that Jan and, um, Jan and Marab fought out, right? That was packed out. 4,500 people can fit inside there. At PFL, <laughs> there was empty seats, y'all. Empty oh, wow. fucking seats. I could have still bought tickets. Like, there was rows of empty seats. And you said they was, with like, 30, 40 bucks or something like that? Yeah, you can't pack out 4,500? <laughs> this is a problem. Well, I think a couple of things. Number one, I, I I adamantly disagree with you. The WWE is the best at story at telling storylines by a country mile. No, no, no. I agree with that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. For the simple fact that they get eighty thousand people to watch grown ass man dance around in tights is just outstanding. In draws. Yes. In draws. <laughs> in draws. They're drawing in draws. I think the thing about the PFL and the Bellator is to kind of use an analogy for it. Right. People don't watch football they watch the nfl 
right? Mm. There's XFL going on right now, which they don't want none of the smoke in the NFL going on the opposite season, right? And they still got 13 people and two hot dogs in the stands. That's all they got. You feel me? <laughs> I got free tickets to go this Saturday. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, so they're fighting an uphill battle. But like it's you hard. say, uh, I think actually one does better, you know, than Bellatar and PFL as far as like m- marketing. And they're Japanese based company. And as well, when you go to their Instagrams, like it's always very something. aesthetically pleasing. Like it's always big shot, a lot of effort, a lot of jump out at you. You know what I mean? Like they always try to showcase this fighter and that fighter where Bellator, Bellator and PFL are just like, like PFL, I think is just chilling. Like they're like, yo, we getting paid. We got a little money here. ESPN company. Like we cool, you know, and Bellator just like, they just don't have a direction. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think they need to go to the WWE and actually hire some of their writers to try to create storylines, to try to create backlog. You know, I know, Sky, you hate uh, Harrison, you know, but it was cool the fact that you actually knew who she was because she was talking shit, getting her name right. out there, right? right? Which is great. Makes me want to tune in. The only person, or there's only two people in. Now, Bellator has great fighters. I think their champions would beat UFC champions in a couple weight classes. But the only interesting people, personality-wise, AJ, MVP. Shout out to those brothers. Facts. Facts. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's like I say all the time. Like, you know, when Corey Anderson's boring ass went over there, he was like, I can come, I can come over here where I'm appreciated and all I have to do is just fight and I have to deal with the politics. And and like I've been saying, the reality is is that, yes, you can go over there and just fight. And that is why those organizations are second tier, because we you need those personalities, you know. Yeah. Hate to bring up Kobe, but like, you know, Kobe became that personality to save his job. Yeah. Right. Shit. You could say Jorge as well. Jorge. Anybody. And the thing is, once again, you don't have to be a heel, a heel to say. Like, you don't have to be this big old a-hole. Like, you can be a good guy, Brandon Moreno. But, like, you got to do something. You got to be something. Like, you can't. You have to have a reason why people want to come to your events, come watch your your shows. Um, It's hard. Like I said, I'm an MMA fan. (laughs) Big time. And. I try to watch all the all the uh, Bellator events I can, but it's it's so boring, and I don't know the fighters like that. Uh, I'm not invested into them, so they got to do a better job. Well, I enjoy my time at the at the event. They just have to do a better job of telling those stories, like you said. Be on YouTube every every time I turn on um, on my YouTube. There's something about UFC going on. Gilbert Burns has a channel now. I'm like, you have to market yourself. You have to. And it sucks for them at Bellator because nobody's already watching them. So why is anybody going to watch AJ McKee? <laughs> Who's going to know who AJ McKee is? I, I Even think know I, how fly he is. I think I finally got Sky, what, like six months ago to turn into AJ McKee? <laughs> uh, no, I actually started watching. You got me a little bit earlier than that when he first fought Patricky for the belt. Uh, the one he won. Yeah, when he won. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when I started watching them, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it, it's probably that time to go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about uh, the card. So, do we want to start at the bottom and look at it? Because the bottom from the top is is it, hot, right? I- on a real quick side note, can we talk about how on the um, preview show, like, when is the last time they didn't open up with the main event? On um, you talking about the countdown uh, okay. show? Countdown. Yeah, I noticed that. Blew me away. I was like, they talking about Jorge first? Oh, did they? I, I watched yes. it. I didn't even put two and two together. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, well, they started it off with talking about the fact that they haven't been to Miami in almost 20 years and then segued into Jorge and then was like, yeah, but we got to talk about the main event. I was shocked by that, too. That was the first thing. I, I just watched it today and I was like, oh. First, I had to check and see because, you know, sometimes you can just watch like uh, exactly. they'll have two or three. I'm like, oh, did I click the wrong one? No, it's mm. safe. 49 minutes. Nah, this is the minutes. right one. All right, let's start from the bottom. You know, as Drake would say, started from the bottom. Now we're here. Shout hey. out to we, Champagne we, Poppy. We show is here, too. The GOAT. 
Hey, you know what I think we should do for this one? Uh, I think that we should look at the early prelims, prelims main card and decide like which car, which fight on that card would be like fight of the night, right? So the, just the fight of that card, like the early prelims. Of that, you know? the prelims? Yeah, okay, of, yeah. yeah, of these little cards, you know what I mean? Um, Jacqueline, is she from the Sudan? Goddamn, she black. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> hey, don't do the silhouette like that. Don't do the silhouette like that. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I just thought she was, you know. One of them blurple motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Where you're so bright, you light. God damn, it's an oxymoron, nigga. Oh, uh, uh, shout out to Steve Garcia. That's the man that killed Chase Hooper in a oh. in, the, in the last fight. Um, yeah. So like the early prelims, they is ex, the early prelims is like literally the early prelims, right? So the first three fights, the first four fights on there, like they're not the hottest, they're not the craziest, but I guarantee you Cynthia Calvillo versus Loopy is going to be a burner. Oh, that's Loopy uh, Godinez? Yeah. Yeah, Loopy probably going to whoop on Calvillo. Oh, she no, 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 no. Some... Hey, Cynthia, my homegirl, we can't do that. Hey, Ooh. I fuck with Cynthia too, but she's been on some bullshit lately, man. And I be going for her. Ah. I think Luby gonna fire. fire her. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> uh, unfortunately for you know CJ, you know it's Mexican versus Mexican, but um, that's a win-win yeah. for me. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, what do you guys think um will happen as far as like out of, the out, of the, out of yeah for these for the early prelims? Like, I think that GM three in that uh, Piper fight. No, no, we ain't got to the prelims yet. We on an early prelims. Oh, did it move? Did it move around? Because my little internet yeah. says it's that one. Oh, yeah, some yeah, shit must yeah, have moved yeah. Around. So they moved it up. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, Steve Garcia and my man from China. I can go fuck his name up. Me Shailen. too. I'm gonna go with Shailen. that one. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll agree with that. Yeah, I'll agree. Because hey. I'm not, I'm not familiar with um, Ignacio. He's good, Ignacio uh, Bayamundes. He's pretty good. Yeah. Who did he fight before? No. Oh, he's the one around. with that nasty knockout. He knocked out your boy Robert. Do you remember that spinning back kick? It was the third round with like maybe five seconds left. Spinning back kick straight to the dome, dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with the Spartan kick before that. No, that man's nasty. Oh, I like him. I'm glad to see y'all are finally getting your shit right. You're following greatness to the promised land. Shout out <laughs> to you, young bloods. Yeah. Um, and then after that, as soon as we get into the prelims, like the prelims start getting real beefy. Now, mind you, a couple of cards have been, a couple of fights have been moved around. Um, so it's not as stacked as it was before. Cause we were supposed to have my holy Gessler shit to Kelvin Gelsenum siding. Sorry. I just didn't realize he was still alive. Hey, we'll see if he makes it. We'll see if he makes it in the octagon. <laughs> Honestly, you know, cause yeah, he was supposed to Tuesday or Wednesday that we're putting this out. Uh, yeah. so we got what? Three more days for him to fuck up somehow. Mm -hmm. Get Hopefully, some weird stuff. <laughs> some weird stuff all over his face. You know, he hasn't fought since August of 2021. And that's Ooh. when he lost against Cannoneer. Like My prediction will be uh, Joe and Gerald. For fight at the night? I mean, for that fight of for the, the prelims. Fight of the yep. prelims? yep. Um... Joe fight for a dog. He coming in and throw yeah. bombs. That's true. And Gerald is known for taking it. Yes, I said taking it. Pause. Mm. Hey, why did, why did why they got the heavyweights starting off the the prelims though? Like Carl Williams and Chase Sherman, they got them at the bottom. They said, "Hey, we're gonna get these big boys up out of here. Somebody going to sleep." Yeah, they got Roll. big Chris Barnett up off of there. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that was the fight, Chris. Why? What yeah. happened? Big Daddy, he got hurt. They said oh, he was hurt. No. Yeah, because there was He would have been turned up too. He would have yeah. been so turned up. Yeah, yeah. Cause these prelims, I remember they was looking they you was kind of favor him now. Shut Think about your it. Mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> can wait, fuck that. Can we can we bring it up real fast? Okay, y'all so quick no, to always put no, me up. Okay. They don't he out of my bitch. What they you say, like bitch? That. Ain't thought about y'all be so quick to put me on blast. I'm over here picked on. <laughs> we ain't never put you on blast and compared you to nobody. You just be bullshitting all the time. Take I your beanie off. Thousand. Take your beanie off. Take your sunglasses off. No. Listen, okay. Listen, it's 2023. I'm trying to save the environment. I want to use those bags instead of uh, the bags at the grocery store. You feel me? 
I'd be stressed out. Wait, okay. A couple <laughs> pods ago, real quick, we had talked about some type of bet to where Jace would have to do a whole pod with his hat. What was the bet going to be? Was it for this main event? Uh, no, I think we were going to do some savage. Uh, well, I don't know. Did you want to do glasses or beanie off, or did we take it up a notch? I don't, I'm gonna have to go maybe, back and watch it. Maybe we started there. Something like I do a pod without the beanie, you do it without uh, the glasses, and then That's and then a signature look, and then <laughs> sit, same here, and then we take it up a notch. You know, we 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 come for blood when we really feel some type of way about a big one. We come for blood. All right. Like nigga, I'm gonna need you to 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 grow a goatee for a while, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Put the handle. Well, on. I definitely ain't shaving the bre- the beard off. Shit. Oh, okay. That's Not crazy. confident in your pick. I got you. Let's keep uh, going. Let's keep going. Yeah. So you know, Chris Curtis <laughs> versus Kelvin Gastel. I'm happy. Hopefully, Kelvin will be back. Um, it'll be good to see what he can do. Chris is on a roll. Uh, Gomez versus Luana. That should be cool. Um. I posted a video just real Gomez? quick. With oh, uh, Michelle Watterson? Yeah. That's her name now? Yeah, Watterson Gomez. Like, she got married, it's, right? Yeah. Man, she if you don't call that Gomez woman again. Michelle Watterson. Right. I'm like, come hey, on. I'm like, who the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Exactly. You don't call her the karate hottie? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't, she decided to put her husband's last name at the end. And I'm just like, we want to call you Michelle Watterson. Like, we, I don't. It's a good woman right her. there. It's that's a, a long. Right that's a long ass name, like Michelle Watterson Gomez. Uh. Uh-uh. She's um, Mexican. They'd be having like thirteen names uh, and kids. Love it. Let's get into it. The main card. The main card. Starting off, Raul versus Junior versus Christian Rodriguez. Let's Kevin see him be Holland. A hater. He about to be a hater. Kevin Holland versus Santiago Ponzinibbio. Rob Font versus Adrian Yanez. Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal. And the main event, Alex Pieta versus Israel Adesanya. Um, first, let's start with <clears throat> what would be the fight of the night on this main card? Font Adrian. <laughs> Facts. I've been, going, I've been going back and forth. I've been going back and forth. I wanted to say that, but I think it might be that Kevin Holland and Ponzi fight for hey, some reason. It might. I don't even, like... Hundred percent. It's it's between the, those two for sure, for sure. Because you know Holland finna be running his mouth something crazy. And you know Santiago gonna put it on that nigga. Y'all, Ponzi like, be when's banging. The, when's the last time we seen a main event card that was this good, where every fight should be a banger? I don't know. I don't. I actually don't think every fight's gonna be a banger. Really? I don't think, it, yeah, because like for one, like I don't think Adesanya and Pereira is going to be a banger. I think it's okay. going to be very similar to their first fight. It's going to be kind of boring until either A, um, Pereira knocks his fucking lights out again, or B, that um, Adesanya just dry humps him until it's over. And I can understand what you're saying with that. And you know what? You, you're you correct. I guess for me, it's like I'm highly anticipating Alex versus Izzy. So I'm lumping it into quote unquote banger. But like when I'm looking at Rob Font, Adrian Yanez, like I, I love Adrian Yanez. Like I it's total fanatic. I, I just love his hands. Like he's so good at boxing. You, I love Kevin Holland, even though I was mad at him for trying to stand and bang with uh, Wonder Boy. And I'm excited for Iowa Roses Jr. Like, yeah. I'm hyped about that fight. I want to see what happens. You know, he's fighting somebody closer in his age. Same kind of um, same kind of record. I- I'm excited to see Rosa. I'm excited to see what he can do. Like, if he comes out, he has another really good performance. Like, obviously, the UFC is very high on him because he is opening up the prelim. So, he's kind of getting that Sean O'Malley. You you know because they really they yeah that Sean O'Malley rub the same little <laughs> the same thing that they were doing him having him open up the main events um, and if he can come through and perform like especially if he can get another finish yeah I, I yeah. also oh. sorry go ahead Jace I was just gonna say quickly I also think that Gilbert and Jorge is gonna be a boring ass fight mm. define uh, what I was gonna say is uh. I really like Rosa's. I watched his uh, what's the thing called? Um, Sky next with level. The, fam- the next level. Yeah. Uh, pause. Um, I want him to do well. I wanted him to come in and fucking 
go undefeated, get the belt, the youngest break records, do all that shit. That'd be cool as fuck, you know. We gotta get some change. Let the young gun shine, you know. Yeah. I'm excited for him. And he yeah. Mexican too, Jace. Viva El Brazil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's actually about to get pieced up. Um, but going back to what you said, Scott, as far as defining boring, uh-huh. um, so I just don't think – I think Gilbert Burns is a super smart fighter. I think that he might bang with him for a little bit, but then like halfway through the round, he's going to just take him down, dry hump him, because he knows there's nothing that Jorge can do about this. And Gilbert is actually a really intelligent fighter. You know what I mean? And he will use his fight IQ. There's nothing Jorge could do to stop Gilbert from fucking dry humping him. Nothing. Now, one thing that I was thinking about earlier today is obviously against Kamaru Usman, Jorge's takedown defense was going to be nothing, right? I mean, it it was Kamaru. Um, Against Kobe Covington, it was going to be nothing. It's Kobe Covington. Gilbert is not a wrestler. He's a jiu-jitsu specialist. Um... Do you think that Jorge Masvidal, who has been working out with Bo and really up there, because American Top Team has a um, an American Top Team that's up there at Penn State as well. Um, so they've been cross-training and stuff. And so he's been working out with Bo Nickel. Do you think that his takedown defense will be better? This, uh, like, against Gilbert, enough to be able to stuff Gilbert, not the elite wrestlers. Well, now that you put it like that, because Fuck uh, no, absolutely not. Jorge Here's has a seventy four percent takedown defense. I was gonna say that. Let's not fuck around and be like his takedown defense is trash. He has a pretty good takedown defense. The thing that is gonna get me on it, I don't think he's ready to fight like that. He has a lot of going on in the back end because I just watched him bet it twice, and bro didn't show no training. I know that's. Only a 10-minute show or whatever. Mm-hmm. They show Gilbert being a fucking dog and working stupid hard. They showed Masvidal with his chopper in the house, on the streets with the bike homies <laughs> and shit, rolling down the street in the club. You know, he got a lot of shit going on in the back end that doesn't have nothing to do with fighting. And I'm a Masvidal fucking fan. And look, I fucked around with this guy and I went on YouTube and watched him fight. KJ Noons from back in the day. KJ like, Noons. Now that's a name. Elite XL yeah. champion. Let's go. King Casual San Diego in the building. When you speak to me, put some respect on my fucking name. But that was a young, hungry Masvidal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's King, ready to go. This King Casual. casual. Is that yeah. a porn reference? No. Okay. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, that was a young, hungry Masvidal. You know, now Burns is the one that's out here looking hungry, ready to get it, ready to take the belt to step up um, in that division. I think Masvidal's ready to leave. He's ready to put down his gloves. You know, he has business to take care of and is not fighting anymore. Gotcha. My I my think, take. No, and and you know, since this fight was announced, I've been saying Gilbert by whatever he wants. You know, essentially, <laughs> but I don't know. Today, something just dawned on me is like. He's not, Jorge's not going up against an elite wrestler. And not to say Burns can't get him down, but Jorge might have a bet. We, his takedown defense might have gotten better. I mean, if we go back to Leon versus Kamaru, uh, Leon's takedown defense got much better, right? He was able to get back up. And not to say that Jorge all of a sudden is, is going to look like that, but I've, I'm more open. Like, I got that CJ mindset where it's like, hey, man, it's a fight. Like, anything can happen. Like, anything could happen. Like, Jorge could look really good when Masvidal tries to, you know, wrestle or grapple with him um, enough to keep it standing to get something off. Um, yeah. If I had to bet, I'm going with Burns. Like, if I had to mm-hmm. bet, I'm going with Burns. But I'm just saying, like, keep that in mind because sometimes when we get on, you know, when we start talking about these fights, we're like, oh, yeah, this, this, and that. And then it looked different. That's but is George going to be willing to stuff one, two, three, four, continuous, continuous, continuous? I Maybe, so. you know, the first two or three, but after they keep on coming and coming and coming, you know, he's going to start getting tired. Oh, like, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. You know, his striking level is going to go down some. I yeah. don't know. I don't know how the, the cardio. Yeah. 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 I don't think you his know, cardio is, he's old, too. I don't think his cardio has ever been great. Like he he's gassed. We've seen him gassed before. 
you know, I think he'll gas again this time as well. Like, I just think this is a horrific, like, this is a horrific matchup for, for, yeah. for George. I don't know why he took this fight. He could have fought anybody. Why didn't he want to run it back with Steven Thompson? Maybe they didn't want to get pieced up again. Um, I just think this is the wrong person at the wrong time. Yeah. In the words of the only time we ever say this guy's name on the podcast, Brendan Schwab, Sky? Career suicide. Correct. Career suicide. Um, yeah, we'll see. I think it, if he does lose, it's a great opportunity, especially if he doesn't get knocked out. Because we do know Burns got them. He got power in him hands. But if he just gets submitted or something and he loses, he's in Miami. What a great time. What a great place to retire. You back at home. You know, he said on Countdown that, hey, if he can't get it done, then he might. He, he He's thinking about calling it quits. But before we even get to that, we still got Kevin Holland versus Ponzinibbio. Um I just love Kevin. It's so hard for me to ever go against him. Like, that's all. I don't know what else to say. Ponzi who, who are you picking in that one up? Ponzi? Ponzi gets it done. I think Kevin Holland was broken against Stephen Thompson. He realized that, you know, welcome to Global Gym. We're better than you, and we know it. I just well, like you know Kevin. who I'm running with. Yeah, I, yeah, you we know, know who you're running with. I ain't even gonna think twice. Um, I fucked up almost all yeah. twice. <laughs> yeah. You know, I like Ponzinibbio. I really do. Um, yeah. Even though he was getting pieced up by Alex Morano until he wasn't. And no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Until the corner gave him the fucking tongue lashing of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. That was you the great. For anyone who hasn't watched that corner work. You got to go and watch it because that's what you have to do. As a he's whooping the fuck. He's whooping your fucking ass. You better go and knock him out this round. It's the only way you're going to win this fucking fight. Say less, nigga. Say less. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rob Font versus Adrian Yanez. Like, I think we all said that this could be the, the fight of the night as far as the main event or the fight of this uh, card. Adrian, I mean, Rob Font has to get a win. Rob Font has to win. Um, he's been beaten senseless in his last couple of fights. If we look at his last two fights, it was Cheeto and Aldo. And he got beat. Like, not not lost. He got beat. Like, he's taken a year off, almost a year off. Or yeah, a year off. It's April over. 30th. It's been over. Yeah. Um, yeah, since he got, you know, just demolished by Cheeto. 100%. He caught uh, a Max then, Holloway beaten. And no... He didn't. Oh, okay. No, this is completely. No, he means the way Max be beating people's ass. No, he don't. That's no, he that's not what he meant. <laughs> that's he what he was talking better about. <laughs> he was, yeah, exactly. I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> um, but but you know, he he's coming off a loss. If you think about it, the whole uh, New England cartel, which is Rob Font, um, Cater. Rob Font, Cater. You know, Cater's coming off that injury. Uh, you know, they need a morale boost. So when he's coming in here, he's going to be coming in here to win. And Adrian Yanez is 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 looking to get him out of there quick, fast. I mean, I don't know if y'all haven't seen Adrian Yanez. Just look up his th just look up his fights. They're all finishes. I think it, it, I think it's going to be a banger because as much as I'd like to say Scott Starch is going to be in the building, I believe Rob Font has never been TKO'd. He should have. He <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely should have. But he's just one of those motherfuckers that's just not going to go down, you know. Like, yeah. you really got to, like, beat him off. Pause. Hey, yo. Hey. hey yo. Relax. Rare form. <laughs> this man is in rare, rare form. Um, Yeah, so, you know, I'm going with Yanez. Who you rocking with, Jace? Yanez, for sure. Yanez, me too. All right, so we rock with Yanez. Um, Whoa, clean slate. Crazy. I know it almost never happens, right? Wait, who were you going for um, on the, with Rosas versus Rodriguez? <sighs> he about uh, to be a hater. Why well, got why well, I got to be a hater? As opposed to just telling you my opinion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, like y'all two went for Holland. I think possibly we were going to bang bang them out, bro. No, no, Rosas versus Christian Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking oh, about okay. it. L let me come back to it. Don't worry, because I'm making sure. Nah, we come do back it now. No, nope. do it now. Do it right yeah, do now. It. Hey, CJ said, do it now. <laughs> okay, so we ain't gonna get his pick until Monday. 
Jorge <laughs> and uh, Gilbert. I got Gilbert. Yes, dude. I got Gilbert all day long. And I got, I, listen, I'll take it up a notch. I'm going to say Gilbert with a finish. Mm. Okay, that's fine, but we talking about Roses Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boy, really, um, I'm going to go Viva La Mexico, Christian Rodriguez. Right. <laughs> okay, is he whatever. Missing? Yeah, he, he he's his Mexican. name is Rodriguez. This motherfucker is definitely Mexican, at least Chicano, if not Tejano. Uh, yeah, he he's Mexican. Uh, but Rosas is uh, Mexican born. Um, okay, cool. So CJ and I are going with Rosas. You're going with Rodriguez. CJ and I are going with Holland. You're going with Ponzinibbio. We're all going with uh Adrian Yanez, Gilbert Burns versus Jorge. I'm going Gilbert. 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 All right, we all go on with Gilbert, and then let's Shout get out into it. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, just because I'm going with Gilbert, like I just want the people to, just to keep that in their mind, and like it's not like he's going against Kobe and Kamara, who were world class world world class wrestlers. Um, so maybe he'll he'll be able to do something with it. Like he said, I think either it was on it was something that I watched, and he was talking about how like you know what I do with uh, nut sniffers, like talking about Ben <laughs> yeah. Askren and you know sending that knee up there. Could you imagine? Could you fuck? Okay, wait. Could you imagine if Masvidal gets a KO in Miami? Oh imagine if he God. hit that knee on Askren in Miami. Oh my God! But if he can knock Burns out in Miami, your boy is fighting for the title. He don't deserve it, but he's fighting for the title. It's a wrap. I kind, I, I kind of want him to win to fuck shit up a little bit, just to be on some. Make the rankings on some you want, funny you want shit, Sky bro. to lose her mind hearing about <laughs> Muhammad is that much further back. Sky will lose her fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I feel God. I feel you though, Sky. I feel you, Sky. For real, no, for real. But, but you know what? And and this is um completely biased. I'm more on board for Jorge to fight. Than I am for uh for what's his name Kobe. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Blau. Gotcha. <laughs> I almost was thinking that too. No, no, no. Uh, I I mean, hands. Y'all know how I feel about that. Uh, but let's get to the main card. The main event. It is tech. You know, across two different sports. This is their fourth time fighting, second time in the UFC in the sport of MMA. Israel Adesanya, Alex Pereira. On a, on, on a quick side, I'm feeling what the fuck is going on with this picture because they're showing Pereira looks really small, right? When he's an absolute <laughs> monster, right? And if you just saw these pictures and didn't look at the stats, you would think that Izzy is bigger and stronger than Pereira. Is that just me or not? Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. When you look at it, he does look, in this picture, he does look a bit bigger. But, you know, that was taken fight night after the fight, so. Mm. Yeah, that's when he's you know down to two twenty as opposed to two twenty six. Exactly. Well, you know, and and this Izzy picture, which I mean, they gotta update your boy Izzy's picture because I, I don't know how y'all dudes feel about this, but you know they keep using the picture, or either they keep using the picture, or Izzy keeps doing it with his whole thing out, just dick print for days. <laughs> and <laughs> we was watching the fight. <laughs> we was watching the fight, and then he goes. Why can't I see this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you got that thing, you let people know I got that. I got hey, that thing. Got that listen, mandingo. That boy, that boy Izzy is an African. Okay. <laughs> hey, take it. If you want to take it. Hey. Oh, hey. Wait a oh man. <laughs> what kind of podcast are we running here? It's yeah. Really I... You know. Oh wait, I, I'm sorry. Jace can make comments. Every single podcast that are wild, I make a wild comment, and I was like, "Oh, what kind the of podcast?" Only, are the running? only person happy by hearing this shit is CJ right now. Let's run it. Nah, oh. yo, nah. You the one that oh. wants that Mangdingo Warrior, bro. You better <laughs> chill, I mean, You know your favorite day is Monday, Meat Print Monday. Hey, I, all I'm saying is it, that hella fell short. <laughs> we on a pod in that hella fell short. <laughs> Dun dun dun! Oh, God, y'all too much for me today. Uh, but yeah, how are y'all oh, feeling about the fight? Like, what do you think's gonna happen? 
So like Jace was saying earlier, he thinks it's going to be a boring fight. Maybe not that exciting, but I think it's the tension, the draw up to the fight that has everybody excited. It has me excited. It has me nervous. Like we said in this house, we're Izzy's fans right now. So I'm nervous as fuck. I'm super nervous. And I hope he can pull it off. I hope he can do his thing and, you know, come out on top. And people on, like I was saying on my live, it's like, why you hate Alex? I don't hate Alex. I I appreciate him. He's a good fighter. Uh, I don't dislike him. He doesn't say anything for me to not dislike him. I'm just rooting for Izzy way more. That's what, it. Plain what are you nervous about? Bro has those missiles. That left hook. He has those missiles, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got those rockets. Uh, Houston, we have takeoff. Have <laughs> yeah. And when they land, they go. I have the uh the Bruno Silva fight right here on and uh the thing is his cardio is not that good. His cardio is not that good. He's getting tired. They're going five rounds. And you know it sucks when you're 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 like a fan of someone, like say like Izzy, and they've been back and forth. What this is going to be their fourth time. Izzy was winning, Izzy was winning, Izzy was winning. It sounds fucking good, and you sound like a nerd saying that shit. Because it's all good until it ain't. Exactly. <laughs> it's all good, all good till it ain't. You know, like Alex is just like a fucking terminator, right? Exactly. Like, like 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 you look at him, you know what I mean? Like he walks slow, is very methodical. You know, he just steadily just walks over and just trying to get you in range, trying to lock that fucking top gun mission on that ass, right? Just walks forward, no big movements, doesn't sprint, and just trying, just trying to get you there so he can say <laughs> four. Ah, nigga. It's um, nice. and and the thing is, like, if you guys watch um UFC breakdown on UFC's uh, channel, Safe Saud uh, is on there, you know, breaking stuff down. And when you just see how, like, most people need range and space to be able to really turn over with their hips and everything to get that hook complete and flush. This man from the hip down this close to Izzy. Bow. That's the hook that got him. It wasn't like no, like the, the amount of power that he can generate from his hooks. Even if you're in tight is ridiculous. It's terrifying. Um, and like you were saying, CJ, I totally agree. It's like, there's that fan inside of me that's like, yeah, but he was winning the whole fight. And then I'm thinking about Kamaru, and I'm like, dang, Kamaru was winning the whole fight. You know? And it's like, it's, I don't want Alex to have Israel's number. But if, 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 if it happens, it happens. I mean, like, there's absolutely, you know, nothing that we can do about it. You know, um. Now, here's the thing that I'm going to be interested to see what happens as far as, like, what happens within the fight and what happens after the fight. Say Izzy Point fights and wins, which he said he's not going to do, but say he does. You know, people have this notion, like, we talked about it before, in order to beat the chip, you got to beat the chip, mm -hmm. which I don't believe. I believe in, you got to win three out of two rounds, like, period. You don't have to beat the chip. Like, these things don't exist. It's, it's not what's happening. Um, if Izzy Point fights and wins... Well, you have people sitting here talking about in order to beat the chip, you got to beat the chip. Do you think people will give him his respect, or will they be no. like, "Yeah, but it was a point fight"? No, they. I think if he goes out there and makes it boring, and he <laughs> goes and takes him down five rounds, not even takes him down, just holds him on the cage for five rounds, people are gonna be hating. That's what I want him to do. I want the haters to come out, and I want Izzy to fucking steal this shit. I don't bring want him, him standing. Bring him out. Yeah, come on out. Yo, take that shit with the most boringest fight ever. I'll take that shit. I don't care. I'm biased. I'm, I'm a hater. The, I'm, I'm going to need that same energy with other fighters. Well, with the daggies? Fuck yeah. Them. Hey, Fuck but, but you know what? In CJ's defense, he even when he talks about the daggies, he tells you that he's biased and he don't care. Yeah, we don't have to talk about Volk and all that. I went, I was like, bro, Islam went and did that shit. He won, whatever. <laughs> but fuck them daggies. Islam didn't win that fight. Um, on a oh, side note, so we don't gotta I, get there. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the most telling thing of this fight is going to be in the first couple of minutes. I'm yep. really interested to know how Izzy is going to respond to the leg kicks. As he said, that fucked him up in that first mm -hmm. round. He said that shit, and I don't even know why he like said it out loud. You know what I mean? 
I don't know why he told him that. Because obviously Perez is going to come back in there again and start fucking chopping those trees. And yes, he's going to try to check the kick. Obviously, we know this. But it seemed like it doesn't even fucking matter, right? Yeah. Um, I'm interested to see if he does wrestle. Um I'm interested to see if now that, that, you know, Alex is thinking, hey, he might try to rush, wrestle if his wrestling defense has gotten better as well. And if, he, you know, he'll be, you know, stuffing takedowns. You know that. So, so you know that his takedown defense will be better, right? Because that's all he works on. You know what I mean? Will it be to the level that he needs to be? Probably not. You know, really. I mean, really, this fight is like watching – a Deontay Wilder fight. Like, is he going to hit this motherfucker with a nuclear bomb? It's like watching a Francis fight. Is he going to hit this motherfucker with a nuclear bomb? You know what I mean? Alex is not about to go in there and, like, sub Izzy. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. Now, I do think Alex might try to take Izzy down because Alex is so big and strong. Like, if he gets on top of Izzy, Izzy's not getting out of that. He's not about to hip escape it and, and get carry to the top. That's not about to happen. Yeah. But we'll see. I'm I'm wondering what the odds are for Izzy by submission. It must be something insane. <laughs> uh I would guess like 870. I got to pull the top this of the up. dome. Yeah, like you were saying, I and honestly, I don't think Izzy needs to get like takedowns, but he does need to grapple. He needs to get him onto the cage and just wear on him. And because he, he was doing that in the first fight where he had him on the cage and, you know, he wasn't hitting him with those dirty knees. He was just holding on them. But I think he should get him on the cage, press on him, just press on him, press on him, wear on that gas tank, wear on that gas tank, do it each round, do it each round. Don't, don't stand up there. He has those missiles and they fly. I'm well, watching him versus Bruno, and he throws everything with bad, bad attentions. He 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 was he knows better than to do the dirty box on the cage and open him up sore, right? Because that's essentially almost a tie clinch. Mm-hmm. You know, this dude is better than you in kickboxing, stronger than you, taller than you. You know, he don't want that smoke. No, I mean the knees to the legs, the wear out. You know, wearing them down. Got you punching he, a he leg. Him, yeah, this the this. The things that you see that you don't think they matter, but with a big guy like that who is gas tank is not huge, they wear on him and frustrate him. You got to frustrate him, you know? He was frustrated in, in, in that last fight. Um, he was. But he has, like you say, Jace, he got those nuclear options, man. And when they fly, you got to get out the way. And once Izzy wasn't mobile enough, I, I got scared. I was like, I knew. Once he hit the cage, I was like, he's about to go out. Get your back off the cage, son. Get your back <laughs> off the cage. We you're need letting them bully you, mate. <laughs> you're letting them bully you, mate. You're letting them bully you. Um, Listen, that was so funny. It, I mean, we, I know we talked about this in the past, but when Usman was was mocking him in the press conference, spot on. I was dead. Spot on. That was ridiculous. Israel Adesanya to win by submission plus sixteen hundred. Damn. Uh, hey, if you're a betting person. Go ahead and click the link that's going to be down here in the bio. Go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and put that bet in. I mean, even if you just put like $2 on there, $5 on there, yeah, 1600 plus 1600 you'll be happy. Um, I would just throw it in there. Who knows? Crazier things have fucking happened. We've seen crazier things happen. Um, I cannot go against Izzy, even though... You know, the the odds are against him. Alex has beat him three times. Regardless of whether or not Izzy was winning, Alex has beat him three times. Decisively, knockouts, nasty. Um, What are just the the odds for the fight? uh, The odds, uh, Izzy is a minus 135. Favorite? Yeah, favorite. And uh, Alex is plus 115. That was close. Yeah. Pretty much even fight. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Got it. It's interesting. So, it's tension. It's tension. And, and that, it, it's different now. You know, Izzy's it's like a moral situation. You know, Izzy's gonna be the one coming in out first. It's it's different. Yeah. It's tense. You know, and I think also why it's super tense is because if Izzy loses, what next? 
retire. Go be you know? an actor, like I was telling people in my lives. Go be an actor. Go do TV. Go do anime animations. Do all that shit. There's many ways to get money. Like, what else does he have to prove? Yeah, he, what I else mean, does he's he have to made prove? a lot of money in the industry. Yeah, if he loses again, he's almost kind of like, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Stop. Stop while you're ahead. You? But, <laughs> but it's almost kind of like he's in a Max Holloway situation. Like, what does he do next? Besides the, hope that someone beats him. The thing is, is that I don't think that he has to retire. I think if he wants to, he absolutely can. Like, he's made great money. Um, he's young. He still has his wits about him. Like, there's still so much he can do. But he could also still choose to go up to 205. He can choose to take time and put the weight on if he still wants to be a mixed martial artist. Um, you don't want to see him at 205? Nah. we. Are, I, I know he was in a full-on 205-er. So he's already having problems with Alex, and I know Alex is already a big guy. All those dudes are big guys who bang and just throw heavy punches. And uh, you know who's he gonna fight? Like someone like Yuri. Jan That'd already be beat him. I think That'd, Yuri gets his but, ass out of there. But too. what if he actually takes the time to like build up the muscle though? Not I don't just know if like he can. He might I don't be think one so of those either. People. Yeah, I don't think he can get too big. That's what she said. <laughs> um, Apparently yeah, not I mean, though. Meet Monday. Hey, Monday. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Jace, what do you think happens to Izzy if he loses again? Or what uh, would you like to see? If he loses, um, shit, I don't know. Just become a fan favorite. Just become a um a Nate. Become a Jorge. You know what I mean? Just someone who just does fun, friendly fights and we just fuck with him because we fuck with him. And we think about, oh, well, you know, before he got obliterated, um, he used to be this fighter. The thing is, is that Izzy doesn't fight in a fan favorite way. You fuck with Izzy because you fuck with Izzy. He's a point fighter. Point fighters are not like people aren't like, oh, my God. Like, And his style of point fighting is super technical tactical in and out just like Vulcan and like Steven top Steve wonder boy is a point fighter but it's different like he puts himself in danger he's like it's there's a difference when like like we seen when wonder boy is tapping you up there's damages to the body you're breaking legs like there's a difference in that style of point fighting than what Izzy and city kickboxing does I don't think that he could be a fan favorite because he's never going to fight a style that's not technical well, I what think he, he. Oh, go ahead, Jason. I was just gonna say I think he relies on his dance partner too much. You know what I mean? When you think about like him, like stopping like Whitaker, or I mean, his only like really great back and forth five was against Kelvin. You know what I mean? Classic. Where I think you know, but that's also his kickboxing styles. Supposed to Stephen Thompson, who does point fighting karate, so he does go. His whole thing is in and out, in and out, mm -hmm. in and out, like my stroke game. Um, and it's just a wonderful thing to watch. Also, like my stroke game. And you see how he said that had no rhythm, y'all. So, ladies. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but Izzy, say, hey, say he does lose. What about he fights someone like Strickland? I mean, the thing is, is that, yeah, he eats. Please, who, else, who, who else he going to fight? I, le I legitimately <laughs> think that Izzy beats everybody at 185 except for Alex. But we also know Alex isn't going to be at 185 for a long time. So Izzy could take a fight or he could wait until somebody, you know, goes up there and takes Alex out because let's be honest, you get Whitaker, you get like this, a nasty wrestler up there. They then have the opportunity and we know that Izzy can finish them off. So I think, yeah, he could go and fight Strickland. He could get one fight in before, you know, either Alex is out of there or he's at 205 or, you know, something else is going on. Um, yeah, you know, if Alex does win, you know, what's next for him? Obviously, then he's the champ. I, I think they try to put Whitaker in there or they try to put Whitaker Hamzad in there. One of the two. The double champ does what the double champ won. He wins his fight against Izzy. I don't think he can continue to make 185. I think he goes up immediately to 205. Hey, if so I'm you, him. You think he ahead. vacates the belt? 100%. Or just say hey, champ versus <laughs> champ. You know, I mean, because the storyline plays out. I'm here to avenge the loss of my mentor. You know what I mean? We love it. 
Could you great imagine line. just the disrespect of like, hey, I came, you were talking shit. I came, I followed you into this sport. I <laughs> got the belt off of you twice. And then I just let it go. Left it. You know what? Oh you can have God. it. Pick it up. You can have it because you can't beat me. Like Listen. that's like the most John Jones <laughs> DC shit I ever seen. <laughs> Listen, the thing is, let's say he does win this and vacate. And then Izzy come back and get the title gets the belt back. I won't. Oh, I won't God. view him as a champion. I won't view him as him as a champion. And even if he'll beat someone for it, we we'll be like, nah, nigga, this nigga didn't take your lunch money twice, my guy. Like, so it'll be I, like I just, DC, like because yeah. nobody really gave DC respect at light heavyweight, even though he was beating everybody else. The fact that we knew he could not beat John Jones, it was kind of like ah. But then when he went up to heavyweight, we was like, oh, okay, let's put some respect on his name because he that little inside elbow took uh, Stipe out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, final picks. Let's go. I'm going with Izzy. I can't. I, I know. I know. But I, I got to. I got to ride with him. If you want to <laughs> go and take a ride with me, hey, it must be the money. Hey, it must be the money. <laughs> uh, quick uh, question, not MMA related, but Nelly related. Who was bigger in their heyday, in their heyday, Nelly or Ludacris? Just got to know. In the heyday. Uh, Nelly, who's better, Luda? Yeah, agree. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Quick side note. You know, we keep it fresh here. We keep it fresh. Here. Nelly was on every song, but most of the kids they ain't even, they weren't even alive. Like they were like five years old then. <laughs> no respect for Luda. Got it. Dang. Let's oh, go. So you say Luda? No, I say Nelly hundred percent. Okay, <laughs> that's my nigga. Uh, so go ahead with your pick. CJ, who you got? Nah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> we wait on you. You go. You in the middle. You in the middle for me. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. Go. Go, Jay. Speak on it. <laughs> Speak on it. You, go. Go. Still. I'm thinking yeah. still. Nah, nah, this can't be the dude. This can't be the dude that like for for month for weeks after week was talking crap to CJ. Anytime CJ would ride the fence, like Jason was like, "Here goes an actual answer." He was like jumping off. So now all of a sudden, he's like, "I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'll text you. I'll let you guys know later." No, and, and, then, and then don't come back to the pod the next week. Right, right. Hmm. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm going with Izzy, man. Things ain't always got to be the same. Things don't always have to stay the same. So shit can change. Fair. Let's go. Three and one, motherfuckers. I'm going with Izzy. Hey. One and three. Yeah, one and three. Well, <laughs> three and Whatever. one. Three and one for, um, what's his name? Deez. Alex. Oh. Yeah. Cool. I'm Izzy, Great. Man. I'm giving go him ahead, all go. my energy. Uh, y'all should see how the camera gonna look if, like, if Mo will film me during that fight. Oh shit, that shit would be crazy. Hey, she got to. She got to. <laughs> nah, no. You got to. That'll be so funny, bro. She ain't finna put me on TikTok on here looking crazy. <laughs> How's that different from any other day? I'm just curious. <sighs> go. All right, go let's go, Jace. We don't need I... your negative attitude up in here. <laughs> Um, damn, I really, I really want to pick Izzy. I really want to pick Izzy. Um, what's holding you back? Th that fucking <laughs> El Kasumi <laughs> over there, that Sasquatch fucking <laughs> boogeyman, the man yes. that comes out like this. Yes, the Brazilian monster, move. man. He doesn't fucking move. He just he's so, so stagnant, fire. right? And Izzy's doing all this shit, and he's just like, motherfucker, I'm not worried about you. Like, it's just it's crazy. Um it's different. Upset pick. I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna go with Izzy. <laughs> Mind blown. My are you motherfuckers this man? <laughs> I'm going with Izzy. I kind of didn't want this nigga to lose. pick oh. the oh, Get That's done again. Get done Sky, again. that makes me feel Alex better. Guerrero. That makes me feel Alex better. Let's go. That makes me feel so much better though, because this nigga's picks almost as bad as yours. <laughs> in the in the mains, in the mains, his picks been kind of fucked up. 
Hey, now that's a fact. That, that's why he over there all hesitant. He's over there stressing. He's he trying to go with the sure thing. Uh, yeah. I, I first, is I it thought the sure were... thing? Alex is the underdog. It's definitely not the sure thing. Yeah, but you know. Alex has one way to win this fight is he has numerous ways to win this fight. I mean, let's remember, I'm sure I would do, if it wasn't for that end of the first round, this nigga was ice skating. I, Alex was ice skating at the end of round one. Nigga was yeah. saved by the bell. But the yeah. thing, like you said earlier, Jace, the nigga came back like nothing happened to him, though. <laughs> like, nothing happened to him. And won the was, second round. Uh, it round took him down. Won. Oh, my God. It's, I don't know. I'm nervous. Yeah. I'm nervous. I, I'm nervous about that pick. Yeah. All the other picks, run it. Definitely going 4-0. Um, that one, you know, go for a prop bet. Go for a prop bet. But Jace, would you be cool if Izzy won? Would you be like, all right, man, I fuck with that? Okay. 100%. Okay. Listen, I rock with Izzy. I fuck with Izzy. I, I, listen, I want, I want Izzy to win this fight, right? It's not that I don't want him. I fuck with Izzy. That's my nigga. But, oh, mama, there goes that man. Like, that's the way I feel about it. There goes that man. <laughs> Fucking you know. monster, bro. I know, I know, and oh man, I see if Izzy wins, I see him ugly crying in the middle of the of the ring. You know what I mean? Like just uh, ugly crying, just giving it up. Like man, you finally got it done. Like you know, it, there's so much that's happening. There's so much. Like this is so big. Like for like just like yeah, Alex is the underdog, right? But like for somebody to have beaten you three times three and knocked times. you out. Two of those times, and you still have to come and fight this person, and he's still willing to fight this person. Like, there's a lot of people that's just not gonna do that. Fact. Like, like even when Alex was coming up and they wasn't giving him a wrestler, and you could see that obviously the UFC wanted to make this match happen. Izzy could have ducked, he could have dodged, he could have been like, waited. I'm yep. not doing it until you fight such and such. Yep. He could have did a whole bunch of stuff, but he still took on this man. Okay, boom, Pause. TKO lost. <laughs> TKO loss and now it's like you looking at it and it's like you already know how MMA fans are they're already disrespecting you and talking reckless and crazy like you had to defend your title five times you know like now you're in that position where somebody is like like this isn't like playing basketball like you know like when you lose a game in basketball like oh let's run it back like you're gonna run it back until you win that game like these That's are literally people <laughs> getting punched in the head losing brain cells and he's still going for it he like this is like a real you know redeemer type story if he can get this done then like it's like that that symbolism of like you can do whatever the fuck you put your mind to like no matter how many times you get knocked down you can get back up that's the type of energy that this really has and if izzy can get it done like i mean what a beautiful story yeah and like you were saying, Sky, I think people people been saying, oh, I think old oh boy is in his head rent free. And I'm like, nah, I think Izzy, one of those dudes that have supreme confidence in mm -hmm. himself because the fight was over. Bro is like, nah, we finna run that shit back. Look how yeah. fast he booked it again. It's not like it took mad long to book exactly. it. They just fought what was it November sometime? Rent yeah. He's like, free in his head. Rent nah, bro got supreme confidence. Free. Because if it was like free. that, he would have been like, uh, let's take a year. Or he has to fight somebody else. Then I'll come back. Bro said, book this shit now. Let's run it back. Yeah. And the thing and is. And if he loses, he probably going to be like, let's run it back again. Even if um, even if he loses, right? Um, or even like with the whole rent-free thing. Even if he is living <laughs> rent-free, rent is due. <laughs> okay? Rent is due. April 8th, rent is due. Mother however many man. months you've been up here and i'm coming to punish you like so y'all can keep saying like oh rent free rent free yeah but there's a comes a certain time where you got to get evicted you got to get the fuck up out of here and they <laughs> going down. bless you my child thank you sorry <laughs> i like that shit sky i like that energy <laughs> coming with because last go. time it was your fault sky I know. and i'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this energy bullshit. you coming with. Yes, yes. I, I like this energy. I wanted it to be shaken up, but then once it was shaken up, I was like, oh man, like it I didn't feel the same. It didn't feel the yeah. same. Yeah. Now I'm like, come on, let's quit playing. Like, let's get it back. <laughs> Cause the storyline is just it's too good. It's too good to come back and get it back. And then guess what? Alex can go get some other fights in or whatever. And then maybe they run it back for the trilogy. Like, why would Alex have to get some other fights in? 
Because they ain't about to do no back to back to back like that. <laughs> He's a back to back to back. Who else really is there? One eighty five. We want to see him fight. Um. Well, he won't beat anybody else at one eighty five. Who? Alex. Tell that to Sean Strickland. Who the? I hate when y'all use people like Sean Strickland. Did Sean Strickland not win his last fight? Sean Strickland's not that guy. Did Did he win his last fight? Who did he fight? Imanov, some number Imanov. fifteen, Imanov, and, and 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 he won his fight before that against fucking uh, not Brunson but Candidate. Yeah, he got robbed in that fight. You can say what you will. He got robbed in that fight. Nothing even happened in that fight. He didn't do enough, and neither did neither did the other dude. Nobody do nothing. Now he fought the boogeyman, and we know how that went. Yeah, you know we'll see. We'll we see. are going to be back. Um, Damien is not here. I'm going to be going to his wedding this weekend. Yes, it's on Saturday. But when the main card starts at 7, uh, I'm, I'm I got to go. I got to be go. watching the fights. Uh, and we will be back on Sunday. Uh, my Shout stuff will probably look a little different because I'll, I'll still be in Phoenix or, you know, on my way back. But, you know, we'll be back here for our Sunday hangover. Yeah, our Sunday I'm hangover. Be faded too. You know, we might have some guests in the building for the Sunday hangover as well. So yeah. keep your mind, uh, keep your head on for that. But we are excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's go. Let's go. Peace.